Hi guys, my name is Hannah Thompson and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be doing a nursery tour of my daughter's nursery. Her name is Elena and she is nine, almost ten months old. I'm super excited about this video. I have been really wanting to film this for ever since she was born. I'm just so excited. I love the way her nursery turned out. It's kind of that boho chic, um, a little bit of farmhouse inspired room with lots of greenery. I wanted something that was not going to be too girly, but something that went with the rest of my house. So if you guys are interested, we're going to do this vlog style. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, I am standing inside Elena's room and I have her door closed so you can get a full glimpse of what it looks like from the door. So we're going to go ahead and start on the left side of her door, um, which is opposite from the window in her room. I knew for her nursery, I really wanted to go with something natural. So here I found a beautiful natural wood dresser with a matching crib from Wayfair. So on top of her dresser, I keep a small cotton rope basket where I house all of her pacifiers. And usually there's a lot more in here. I'm sure you parents out there understand and can relate. We never know where the passies go. So I'm always on the search for the rest of her passies. But this little basket actually came in her Love Every kit. Um, I want to say it was like the seven or eighth month box. Uh, we do have a subscription, and so this did come to house some of her toys, but right now I'm using it for her passies. For lamps, I wanted something that was a little bit kind of a boho feel to her room that also was very natural, and this is such a beautiful lamp. I actually bought two of them from Hobby Lobby. These have wooden beads that dangle from the bottom, and I just love the sound they make and how beautiful they are with just a really pretty natural linen lampshade. I love the mirror that we chose. I did get this gold mirror at, I think it was either Target or TJ Maxx, one of the two. I haven't seen them there since I've been. It's been over a year, but I'm sure you guys could find something super similar if you just search like gold round mirror um, on Amazon or honestly any website, you could probably find them. They're pretty popular. All right, moving right along to the right hand corner of her room. Um, we do have this cabinet that is from Target. Originally, it was kind of a weathered, rustic brown, like a tan color. My husband attempted to spray paint it. I don't know if you guys can see all of the runs at the bottom. Um, we're going to have to end up redoing it. But for the meantime, I really wanted a beautiful black cabinet for the corner of her room to house just a few decorations and also to be a little bit functional. I will be doing a separate video, guys, if you guys want of what's in the bottom of that cabinet and what's in the drawers and organizational video but I don't want to go through all of that it would make this video way too long all right guys so to the left of her corner cabinet is kind of the focal center of the room and there's my dog Oakley hi Oakley <laughs> I do have an Australian Shepherd I actually have two but um, this is the focal point of her room. I really wanted the crib to be kind of the statement area. And again, I wanted to go with something extremely natural, but yet girly and sophisticated. So starting with her crib, um, I knew I wanted a natural wood again. And I actually found this one from Wayfair. It is not in a set. It does not come with a dresser. You do have to purchase the dresser separately. But guys, it's the most beautiful natural wood. I'll just kind of zoom in and show you what the wood tone looks like. It almost has like that orangey warm tone to it um, that's actually kind of popular right now and I'm obsessed with it. It's rustic, but yet goes well with the boho decor that I've chosen. This is a convertible crib, so it can convert to a toddler bed and it can also convert into a full size bed for whenever I need to convert it. I just have to purchase the equipment to do that. <laughs> Looking down into the crib, um, I'll go over really quickly where I got the sheets. And again, they match the changing cover from her changing table. And this is the Botanical Garden sheets from Caden Lane. The blush pillow I got from Hobby Lobby. It is so pretty. It has so much fringe on it. And it's the perfect feminine blush color. And I think they might still have this pillow last time I went. And then this green one, I hate to tell you guys, but it's at TJ Maxx. And you know how TJ Maxx is. You can't always find um, something that previously someone has bought in TJ Maxx. You know, they always have random things and you're not really sure where to get them. Moving up above the crib. This is probably my favorite part of the room. I do have two black wall hangings on each side of her name. And these are from Hobby Lobby. 
and they're so beautiful. I actually have these exact two wall hangings above my couch in my living room. I love the contrast it gives the wall. I love how it looks with all of the natural wood and greenery. I'm a huge fan of adding black to a room if it's done correctly. And I think it's so classic. All right, her name sign is from Etsy. And I just put Elena Gray, which is her first and last name. And I wanted the wood around the edging to match the rest of her furniture. So it kind of pulls in that warmth above the crib. I'm obsessed with this name and with this name sign and how everything turned out. Oh, and really quickly, I will mention where the crib uh, bed skirt is from or the crib skirt. It is actually, it's really hard to see, but it is a uh, blush pink uh, bed skirt. And on the bottom, it does have ruffles, but you can't see because of the wood. It kind of hides the bottom ruffles, but I did get that from Pottery Barn Kids. So I will try to find that as well and link it in the description box if you are interested in getting it for yourself. All right, guys. So we are moving on over to the other corner of the bedroom. And I'm sorry if you guys hear my daughter in the background. She's currently in the closet playing with everything. If you, I'll show you guys really quick. She is a mess. <laughs> she has torn up the entire bottom of the closet and is just digging in her basket. Um, guys, I can do a separate closet tour eventually if you want to see that, but right now this is the current state. <laughs> so I think I will wait. But moving back over to this side of the room, um, again, we've gone through the dresser area and the changing area, her cabinet, and her crib area. So we're moving on over to this area. And originally I did have a glider in this spot specifically for breastfeeding or feeding her in general when she was a newborn rocking. Uh, we spent hours and hours here every day. Um, but I didn't end up moving that to the living room because I got so sick of being stuck in one room and I wanted to be kind of in the heart of the house where my husband was. So we opted to bring that into our living room and honestly, it hasn't moved since. Um, and I don't think it'll ever come back. So we do have a little bit more space in here now, which is actually kind of nice. So this table was originally supposed to be next to the glider, but now it's just kind of a lonesome little table here. And I think it's so beautiful. Um, it has kind of that farmhouse feel to it and beautiful natural wood. I did get this table at Hobby Lobby for a really great price. I cannot remember the price of it and I don't think I have a link for it as well, but they might still have it at Hobby Lobby if you can go check. And then over here we have her Hatch Baby Sound Machine. If you guys don't have a Hatch Baby Sound Machine, it is the best thing in the entire world. I love it. Um, I can do another video or I probably will end up putting this in the video of my favorite baby products, but it's the best sound machine hands down. You just tap the top of it and it starts playing noise. I'll show you guys. So there is the white noise and then you just hold it to turn it off or you can just tap it to cycle through the different sounds. It has rain, ocean waves. It's our absolute favorite and it's amazing. All right, so behind the table, I do have a fiddle leaf fig tree. And guys, I don't know about you, but if you've been searching for a fiddle leaf fig tree and you're always shocked at the price being like $400 or more, you definitely need to check out Hobby Lobby to get one because this one I got, I think originally was $120 and I paid 60 um, or something like that because of their discount that you can get. So always, always, always use your discount code there. I think it's the perfect size. I think it's the perfect shape. And I added this little wicker basket also from Hobby Lobby just to the base of it because it does not come with a base. And I think it's stunning. All right, we have made it to the corner where her closet is. Here is a really quick overview of what that looks like. So this area, I really struggled with figuring out what to do with this corner because as you guys can see, the entrance to her room has a hallway and it's really a kind of a wall that you will see first when you walk into her room and I wanted it to be somewhat of a statement. So my mom actually suggested that I do a kind of a coat rack with a bench so that later on she can sit here, put on her shoes, get ready for school. Um, so I absolutely love the, what we've done with this area. I think it pops really well. I'm going to back up and show you what it looks like from her door. And as you can see, <laughs> my dog there and here's my other one hi Harper 
All right, so let's kind of go over what I have in this corner if you are interested in any of the pieces that are currently here. At the bottom, I have a bench with two pillows. Actually, all of the pillows here are from Hobby Lobby and the bench is from Hobby Lobby. It is a little bit darker of a wood compared to the other wood pieces in her room, but I really didn't care. I thought it was a really beautiful bench and a perfect size for the small little corner. This pillow has black, and I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little bit of blush on that pillow as well with the tassels and then a black and cream fringe pillow in the back. So I know that eventually whenever she is starting to put on her shoes here and stuff, we probably won't keep pillows, but for now she's a baby and we don't really have any need to take them down. So another favorite piece that is sitting on this bench is actually this Cuddle and Kind doll, and I'm obsessed with unicorns, and so I had to get this one for her. This one is the Zoe unicorn doll. Kind of bring it up in the light so you guys can see her a little bit better, but she has a gold horn, and she's purple, little rainbow. She's so stunning. Look at the back of her. She's pink, her little tail. So I think this is something that I want her to be able to pass down to her kids if she has a little girl. And I just think it's so beautiful. And I hope eventually that she loves it just as much as I do. All right, moving on up, we did get the coat hanger from Hobby Lobby as well as all of the pictures. And basically any decor that you see in this frame is from Hobby Lobby. And then typically I like to change out the outfits that are on these hooks. I use them as display. She does wear them, but um, currently, these are almost too small for her, so we'll be changing them out, but I got this outfit from, I think, Marshalls, and it's so pretty, guys. Look at the little eyelet lace. I'm sorry if my camera is not focusing. This little dress, not sure. My mom got me that one. And then this one actually comes with a matching headband, but it is from Marshalls or TJ Maxx as well. We are moving over to the last little area of her room, and this is also another wall that I had a really hard time deciding what to do with it because, again, it is something that you see right from the door when you walk in. You can see this from the kitchen, and I wanted it to be something really pretty. This three-drawer dresser I got from Hobby Lobby, and I loved how the wood is that kind of warm, orangey-toned wood that matches her crib and her dresser really well, which is actually kind of a hard wood tone to find. And it was a small enough dresser to put here and it just gives me a little bit more space than not putting a dresser here at all. So I really love that I have that here. On top of her dresser, we don't really keep a whole lot. I do have this plant that I did recently get from Target. It is, I think, part of the Chip and Joe line and these actually resemble the garland that I have. So they do look similar in color and style. I do have this Montessori toddler book. I have not read it yet. So those of you that ask how the book is, I don't know yet. I just received it in the mail. I just set it down here um, and I can't wait to start reading about it and implementing some of the Montessori teaching methods into our daughter's life in our home. I do have a candle here. We don't really burn candles often in her room, but for the video, I did um, light a candle for you guys. This lamp is also one of the first things I bought for her room because number one, it's really neutral. It's small enough to go on a small table, but yet it's still girly without all of the pink. So it does have a linen lampshade. And then at the bottom, it has beautiful ceramic white roses all the way around the base. And then the very bottom is clear. So I thought that that was such a beautiful find. And I did find that at TJ Maxx. All right, guys, that was it for the nursery tour. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Also, I really would like to know if you guys are interested in an organizational video. I know that whenever I watch nursery tours, I always want to see the organization. So if you're interested to see how I organized her dresser drawers and her closet, then please let me know in the comments down below. And all of the products and items and furniture in this video are hopefully going to be listed in the description box if I can find them. With that said, guys, thank you guys for watching. And hopefully I will see you guys back here on this channel soon. Bye, guys.